Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a skincare tutorial. So recently I bought some skincare items from Shaltikai and I have a bunch of samples. So I thought I would just do a tutorial and review at the same time. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So if you are new to my channel, I am an esthetician as well as a makeup artist. I have lots of years of experience in the industry as well as doing private contracts. I have now started an online beauty consulting service where you can make an appointment with me one on one, have a virtual talk or consultation and it's private and it's just you and me. So it's for really any and all beauty questions you might have, makeup or skincare. So if you wanna make an appointment, please click the link down below. So for those of you who are curious, I live in Montreal and I have access to Shotsukai through Holt Renfrew and there's a sales associate at the Montreal location named Jessica. She works at the Shotsukai counter and she has set me up with lots and lots of samples. So let's go ahead and dig into this video. So the first step will be the exfoliation. I purchased the hibiscus smoothing mask. This is just like a white texture. It looks like a thick cream. It doesn't have much of a scent. Like it has sort of a scent. It smells like essential ingredients and active ingredients. It doesn't smell like perfume. So what I like to do is I have a couple of these little makeup brushes. You know, sometimes you get makeup brushes in a gift with purchase and you don't know what to do with them, I keep them for skincare. So I went ahead and cleaned this from top to bottom here. And what I like to do is I use this end here that is clean and I take the product that I want and place it on my face instead of using my fingers. So I'm just going to go in here. And then I apply it. So the hibiscus smoothing mask is technically an enzymatic peel. I know that sounds scary, I know. Essentially, when it comes to exfoliating, you have two options. You have one that's more of a mechanical exfoliation, so think a scrub. And then you have enzymatic peels, which uses fruit enzymes to eat away the dead skin cells. This is an enzymatic peel. So this is a type of exfoliator that you leave on the skin and then rinse off. So you don't have to massage, you don't have to manipulate any product. Just leaving this on your skin will eat away all the dead skin cells. Let's not forget the neck and the mask acne. Okay, so this you leave on your skin for three to 10 minutes. There is this like really slight tingling sensation. Don't worry, it's fine, it's supposed to do that, but like if ever it's too much, just rinse it off. And just by leaving this on your skin for that amount of time, it will exfoliate. I know we think that we need those like harsh granules to really like scrub and get rid of dirt and debris and oil, but this sort of thing is actually more gentle because you're not like manipulating your skin really harshly. And oftentimes those scrubs can cause like redness. So I personally prefer this type of exfoliator any day. So if I were not here on camera with you guys, I would have brought this mask a bit lower, probably onto my chest. If you can, I would also recommend doing this before you get in the shower. And that way you can just rinse it off in the shower. Easy peasy. So after a few minutes, you don't feel that tingling sensation anymore. I actually don't mind that tingling sensation because it lets me know that the mask is working and that it's eating all those dead skin cells. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let me go ahead and wash this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you've exfoliated, I look all nice and clean. You wanna go in with a mask, a hydrating mask. So this here is the Jasmine Lily Healing Mask. This one here has a really cool texture. It's a little bit jiggly. It reminds me of a cross between jello and pudding. This one also doesn't really have a fragrance. It just smells like whatever active ingredients are in here. So using the same brush as before, I gave it a really good clean. I made sure to really clean the bristles because you don't want any product to be stuck in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and apply it on my face. And I like to leave a pretty generous layer on my face. I don't know, I just feel like my skin absorbs what it needs and leaves the rest behind. 
So you essentially want to apply this everywhere you put your exfoliator. The theory is you exfoliate, you get rid of the dead skin cells, and then you hydrate. It doesn't really matter what type of mask you use, if it's a hydrating mask, a lifting mask, whatever. The mask goes over top where you exfoliated. Now, this one here, you leave on your skin for 10 to 20 minutes. You can also sleep with it. I've done this. When I sleep with it, I put on less than this. I kind of feel like I'm having a Mrs. Doubtfire moment right now with this face mask. Miss Hello! But when I use this to sleep in, I apply a more sheer layer and then I just go to sleep and my skin just looks really nice and hydrated the next day. So this mask is really to help hydrate really dry skin. And I swear that when I rinse off the mask, my skin looks less dull and brighter. So that's always a good sign. So one thing I noticed when applying these masks with a brush, I feel like you get a smoother application if you apply it in the same direction. I feel like if you brush like this, the product kind of moves around. So just like paint it on in the same direction and make sure to clean your brush immediately after using it. You can start to see the places where my skin has like soaked up more of the mask. Like there's certain areas where the mask looks thicker and thinner, so I feel like my skin is just taking what it needs. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. You can technically leave this on for up to 20 minutes or overnight, but it is morning time and I have stuff to do, so let's keep it rolling. Okay, I feel like my skin is now more refreshed, brighter, more awakened. I do have a pretty big breakout coming out here, but what can I do? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the routine. Next step would be a toner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this rose water here. This is pure rose water. It's supposed to be refreshing and uplifting, and I have a little sample here. So I'm gonna go ahead and douse myself quite liberally. If you are a fan of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, this is sort of along that same line, except this one here is just rose water. I have a little few drops left. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up. I guess the difference is the Caudalie one is a mixture of different essential oils and definitely has a stronger fragrance, whereas the rose water is definitely more subtle. I'm gonna go into a serum now. This is the Bio Lifting Serum. So this is supposed to help firm and visibly smooth the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it here on camera with you guys. So since this is a lifting serum, I'm going to apply this in lifting motions. And as you apply it, it starts to feel a little bit sticky and tacky on the skin. So I'm not sure if I'm seeing like a visible lift and smoothing of my features. It does feel sticky and tacky and it does feel nice on the neck here to just like sort of lift it a little bit. And now for the eyes, I'm going into the Stress Repair Concentrate Plus. So normally the full-size product comes with a little applicator tool to roll it onto the eyes. And you can also use this on the contour of your lips. So this is supposed to be an anti-aging eye cream. It's supposed to hydrate. It's supposed to also reduce the appearance of puffiness because there's caffeine in here. Let's go ahead and apply it. So I do feel like it does brighten up the under eye area here. I'm not like 10 years younger by any means, but it does feel really nice because it is pretty hydrating. And I don't know, maybe if you continued using it night after night for a few months, maybe you would see a big difference. Like I'm not wowed, but I still like the product. I think it makes a big difference if you have the full size product and you have the little metal spatula. It's not really a spatula, it's like a metal tool that you help massage it. I feel like that would feel really relaxing. Okay, let's go ahead and apply some moisturizer. I am using the Rose de May cream. This is a really lovely gel cream. It's not a very thick cream. It's definitely more in the gel category and it has a really nice rose scent. This is supposed to help soften and hydrate your skin, and I think it's also supposed to help with redness as well. I actually really like this cream. I didn't think I would like such a fluid gel texture, but it's really nice. And I feel like this moisturizer also helps your skin look quite luminous. So now for the final step, the sunscreen. So this is the Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45. It's also technically a primer. 
So this here has such a lovely texture. As you can see, it's literally just like melting into my skin. There is no white cast. Oftentimes with sunscreens, you have this like white film on your face, not with this one here. It literally just like sinks in as if it was water. I think that's why they call it a primer because this sunscreen is perfect to wear if you want to wear makeup. This sunscreen is amazing. I love the texture. It's so fluid. You know, oftentimes sunscreens, they have the sunscreen smell, they have the sunscreen cast, and they're often thick and hard to absorb into the skin. This feels like it's perfect. It's really, really light. It's really sheer. I do wish there was a higher SPF. This is the only SPF for the brand, so I really do wish there was a higher SPF available, but I think this is a beautiful sunscreen. If you like to wear makeup every day and you want a sunscreen to wear underneath it, I think this one is perfect. So just to recap, the Hibiscus Smoothing Mask and the Jasmine Lily Healing Mask, I love, totally worth the splurge. And I also really love the Rose de May Moisturizer, the face cream. I really like it. It's also quite pricey, but it just feels so lovely and soothing on the skin. And as well as this sunscreen here, I think the sunscreen is amazing. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is my skincare tutorial, skincare routine, skincare review. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have you tried these products? Do you like this type of video? Do you like this format? where I just sit here and do my skincare and let you know my thoughts as I go. Please feel free to sound off down below. If you are new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury skincare, luxury makeup. I do lots of reviews and tutorials, and I also create several different looks with the same products. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to like, comment, and also subscribe. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.